Welcome to the project demonstration of Android Bluetooth control home automation. So here we are going to control the home devices like, like uh, represented in them as with bulbs. So these two bulbs control through the electromagnetic relays and these two getting uh, signals to one end of the bulbs from the PIC microcontroller that is PIC16F72 microcontroller and this controller will receive the commands from the Android mobile phone through this HC05 Bluetooth module. So here the main communication wireless communication module is like Bluetooth and here we are going to uh, provide the 230 volts input. So let us explain the power flow. So from this cable we are going to provide the 230 volts input and this transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC and that 12 volts AC voltage given as main input to this regulated power supply board. On this board we have placed four diodes which will act as bridge rectifier. So bridge rectifier output is pulsating DC and after this capacitor so we will uh, neutralize the pulses so we will get the pure DC of 12 volts so but we need 5 volts to operate the microcontroller and communicate with the Bluetooth module so to get the 5 volts constant regulated power supply we are making use of 7805 regulator so the 7805 regulator will provide the constant 5 volts power supply and before this regulator we are going to take the 12 volts power supply from here and which is sufficient to the relays because we are using 12 volt operated electromagnetic relays and this will be getting on and off by the 5 volts trigger to these transistors so means the microcontroller will provide the 5 volts trigger pulse to the transistor and the transistor will allow this particular 12 volts to the relay and this relay will allow the 230 volts to the bulbs so here the flow is microcontroller switch on the transistor the transistor will switch on the relay the relay switch on the bulbs okay and coming to the connections we have interface the b0 b1 to the bluetooth module and c6 c7 to the relays so let us see the demonstration uh, so let me explaining this motherboard also so we are going to provide the 5 volts from here to the motherboard and this is the reset switch just to restart the microcontroller and we have placed one more capacitor just in order to remove the power fluctuations while operating the devices and also this steel plated one is crystal oscillator of 20 megahertz oscillating frequency it will provide the clock pulse to the microcontroller and these are the two LED indications with 330 ohm resistor so before switching on the kit we need to install one application so for that just go to play store and in that type blue term so like this type blue term and install this application okay and after installation the application will be coming to your phone and uh, now switch on the power supply to the system once the supply is given to the system then there will be a light indication of two times on and off and then after the bluetooth module blinking will be continuously on the so blinking and now go to the bluetooth settings of your phone and uh, then pair a new device so wait for available devices will be appear here just sc05 this is only first time in every phone next time you know you to go to the settings directly you can go to the application and password is 1234 pair so once successfully pairing was done initially only that's it and now go to the application which we install in your phone and there we can see the sc05 so it's paired now okay and after pairing was done successfully then go to the enter ASCII command here so capital A and capital B to on these two devices so I am entering capital A and send ASCII value the device got switched on once the pairing was done from the application the bluetooth blinking will be slowed down and next I am entering capital B right every character receive light blinking and if it is valid the so called relays got switched on and also bulbs will get switched on so capital small a off and small b off okay so next if you want to make the buttons operation also then click on this button one and uh, same as key select here command is capital a no need for the these two save okay that's a button one and coming to the button two small a save again same button 3 
so here capital B so on select these two again okay, button 4 small b So hold it continuously then unselect these two right save and now just by touching on that the device got switched on as we have named the particular button with capital A okay and button 2 off button 4 off these are two way of home automation can be controlled from the buttons or by sending the characters also right thank you